Hi, my name is Jen. I'm a librarian here at Bethel University Online, and today I'd like to talk to you about the anatomy of a scholarly article. Let's get started. First, there is the title. This describes the article with relevant keyword. Abstract. The abstract is at the beginning of the article. It is a summary of the author's work and what you can expect to find within. Introduction. Here, the authors enter a discussion on the topic, what came before and what they intend to add. Sometimes the introduction will include a review of current literature. Next is the study or methods. Sometimes the title can vary as we see here. This is where the authors talk about what steps they took to conduct their study. Results or data. These are the numbers or information generated by the methods used to conduct the study. It can also include charts or graphs to summarize these numbers. Discussion. Here the authors discuss the results of their study and whether more studies are necessary. Conclusion. Here, the authors wrap up their findings and their paper. Oftentimes, this can be included in the discussion and does not necessarily have its own heading. References also known as the works cited or bibliography. This is a list of the author's sources used to conduct the study. It tells us the author did their homework and has read all of the current literature that came before. This has been a brief review of the parts of a scholarly article. Sometimes you'll see more, sometimes you'll see less. As long as it includes some of these main parts, you can safely assume that this is a reliable source. Hope this helps!